and welcome to the Scale Modeling Cafe and welcome to a chat video. Not really a rant video, this one, more of a, more of a chat. As you've seen from the title, this is all about gloss coating your models before decaling. Before wading into that debate, let's just have a wee little chat about what silvering is. Some of you may not know. Silvering is what happens to a decal around the clear carrier film where air gets trapped underneath and reflects the light. And it looks like sort of silver, hence silvering. There are various ways of eliminating it. One is using setting solutions. Uh, setting solutions that uh, help uh, the decal to adhere and then the solvents which help to kind of suck it down into the detail that soften you, Some people call them softeners. It softens the decal so then as it dries it sucks into the detail. That's one way Another method to prevent it is um, You want a smooth surface. There's two ways of doing it. One is to actually buff the paint and I tend to buff in between each layer anyway and the other way is to gloss coat. Now this debate in the modeling community has got a little bit partisan. It's almost like politics in America where people have got really, really vitriolic. Personally, I tend to gloss coat my models. Some people say that's totally unnecessary and a complete waste of time. Some people say you don't need to do it because you can use setting solutions or, you know, um, it's not that bad anyway and blah. But, you know, <laughs> some people have made that argument. Some people, not all, some people who have made that argument uh, have put up examples and you can see silvering. So they've just shot themselves in the foot. Where I stand on it is... I just want a smooth surface and I, I like to use MRP paints if I can, that's my favourite paint uh, of choice. If I can't use that I like to use GSI Krios, also known as Guns. They tend to be more of a satin finish. I tend to like thin layers, um, I tend to tint the paint as I go along in post shading. I never pre-shade, I think it's complete and utter waste of time and uh, maybe subject for another video <laughs> and those paints are leave a quite a shiny finish and I tend to buff in between layers as well because I want a smooth finish I will then tend to do a gloss coat that does two things one it makes the surface even more smooth and two, it tends to protect the paint a little bit, mainly from handling as opposed to the setting solutions, because certainly MRP being um, an acrylic lacquer, acrylic because the pigment is acrylic and the, the sort of solution is lacquer, it tends to be a, a very hard wearing paint anyway, but I don't want to take any chances because it is really thin. Sometimes though, I, 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 I don't use a gloss coat. I just look at it and think, do you know what? I'm, I'm actually, I'm gonna risk it in inverted commas. Oh God, I hate people who do that. I risk it and uh, I won't use a gloss varnish. If I do use a gloss varnish, it's this one. Sorry about that, should have prepared this earlier. This is Mr. Color GX100. Uh, it's really quite gloopy, so I thin it to about 80 to 90% thinner. And it goes down beautifully thin, beautifully glossy. Um, and then I, it dries really quickly. I then put the decals down. I use my setting solutions, which I prefer the ammo ones. Yes, I'm an ammo fanboy uh, and I have a bit of a connection with them, but I do think their setting solutions are really very, very good. I have got solver set in there as well. And I have got Micro Set and Sol, which I occasionally use as well. 
And um, once I've done that, I will tend to seal in the decals with another coat of this before doing weathering. I remember when this subject kicked off um, a while ago, maybe one or two years ago, and another YouTuber out there who is vehemently against using gloss coats actually put a decal down over wet and dry paper, quite a coarse wet and dry paper, and used setting solutions and didn't get any silvering. Fantastic. The other reason why I use a gloss varnish normally is because it helps to hide the carrier film. You may not see the carrier film from certain directions. There may not be any silvering. But what you will see in other lighting directions is the edge of the carrier film because these layers are very, very thin. And the way the light bounces off that very smooth surface is um, you have kind of like a, um, a hard edge. So um, here's the surface of your, uh, of your model. Here's your decal, not to scale before people make comments. Um, and the light will catch the edge. Now, most people use a varnish anyway. Um, and a maybe a satin varnish and the way the light reacts on a on a gloss varnish is because it's very smooth it's a lot sort of the lights not scattered as much and you tend to see the edge if you put um, a couple of thin layers of gloss over it you smooth out that hard edge so it makes it harder to see and then when you put your matte or satin um, coat over the top and I use exclusively now VMS the carrier film the clear part completely disappears that's why I tend to do a gloss coat to help seal it in it helps protect against some of the chemicals in the oil uh, and uh, white spirit or the or the enamel thinners that I use because some enamel thinners can attack some clear carrier film and it just provides a barrier against that. So that is why I gloss coat. It also helps prevent silvering, but like I say, the paints I use, that's not really the reason. At the end of the day, if it works for you not to gloss, then don't. And you don't want to gloss, then don't gloss. If you're using any sort of matte paint, like um, a lot of the Tamiya paints, you there is an increased risk of silvering. I'm not saying you're definitely going to get it. I'm not saying you can't reduce the risk using other methods, such as setting solutions and stuff. But it is an increased risk if you don't have a smooth surface under your decal. I also find, as I said, it helps protect the paintwork against handling some of the chemicals in the weathering stuff. And I tend to seal my decals in for the same reasons. It helps protect the decal with another gloss coat before the final, final varnish coat over the top which normally seals in the oil any oils that I've used as well that is my take on gloss coating but as I said it's up to you it's your model what I recommend you don't do is saying you don't need to gloss coat your metal your your models um, when decaling to avoid silvering, here's a model that I didn't use a gloss coat on and look, and there's silver decals on, silvered decals on. I have seen that before. But it's up to you. And what I would recommend anyone to do is, if you don't wanna 
gloss coat your model, then, then don't. See how you get on, but just try it one day. I'm always experimenting. There will be models where maybe I won't use a gloss coat, um, uh, but if it's, a, if it's a slightly rougher surface, I'll always somehow get a smooth finish underneath. If you haven't used this stuff before, I highly, highly recommend it. It's brilliant. But it has to be thinned and it has to be smooth. So if you're painting over a matte surface, I recommend, you don't have to do this, it's just what I do, it's my technique. I recommend you buff that surface with a, um, a polishing sanding sponge or an old t-shirt or some kitchen paper just to smooth out the surface and then apply this apply this in very very thin light coats until you get a smooth finish i remember it's a smooth finish we're after there's no point spraying this and you haven't thinned it enough and you get a pebbly finish and then you put your decal on and then you go this is rubbish because i got silvery it's not this it's the smooth coat this helps you to smooth out your undercoat. That's that. I have yet to seal in decals using any gloss coat and not hidden the edge of the carrier film because the way this is very thin and it's just the way the light scatters. Matte and satin varnish coats it disappears, not a problem, with a good matte or satin varnish. And like I say, I use VMS. So that's it in summary. The biggest takeaway, I think, is um, if it works for you, then keep on what you do. Okay? Um, but if you're struggling with silvering decals, then, uh, then you need to do something. And maybe try my approach and see how it works for you, and then... The more you practice it, the more you'll learn and you can modify your technique, um, which is exactly what I've done. And that's how I arrived at my technique. There we go. I think I'll leave it there. It'll be interesting to get your thoughts on it. Um, if you want to vehemently smash the keyboard and you don't need to varnish, then fine. That's your opinion. Um, like I say, if it works for you, great. Um, it... it doesn't really for me. Um, I prefer a smooth undercoat. There we are. Right. Um, I'm in danger of starting to repeat myself now, so I'll leave it there. Only sort of about 10 minutes, which is what I wanted. Um, so thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye bye.